But you need to ask yourself, is it worth spending time with a person who you don't like? Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Elmira Strange and I'm a motivational psychologist. In this channel, we are discussing all the things related to psychology, coaching and therapy. In the today's video, we are talking about how to change your attitude when you clearly don't like someone. We've all been there. We are meeting people, and some of us meeting people more often than others. In any case, when we're meeting people, we suddenly realize that we dislike certain people pretty much instantly. Why does it happen? In one of my earlier videos, I was explaining the term in therapy, which is called transference. This is when we transfer our emotions, our feelings onto someone else. We often do it on a subconscious level, so we're not aware of that. The only thing that we're aware of is that suddenly we realize that we don't like that person. This person might be someone from our distant family, for example some auntie or some cousin that you don't particularly like. The reasons for that can be numerous. But in this video, we are not discussing the reasons for why we don't like somebody because I make different videos on this topic. Here we're discussing what to do and how to change your attitude when you know you have to. So the first thing I can suggest is try to find positive qualities in that person. Think kind thoughts. Think what it is that you find really good, really nice about that person. Are there any qualities or skills that they have that you admire normally in other people? Try to compliment that person. See if they will connect to you on a different level. Try to understand why you dislike that person. Perhaps they remind you someone from your past, someone who did something wrong to you. Perhaps they remind you a bully from your school. Whatever it is, that awareness can help to shift your perspective and on your attitude towards that person. If perhaps they are crossing your boundaries, see if you can just talk to them about it. Perhaps they are not aware of what they're doing, of their own behavior. And another thing you can do is try to work on letting go. Let go of small things, insignificant things, things that are not worth hanging on to. In the end of the day, who suffers the most when we are having a grudge towards someone? It's us who is suffering. It's us who is undermining our health, both physical and mental. Different views, different attitudes, miscommunication, all these can be let go very quickly. The only thing you need to do is to practice, to see them as less significant and let them go. Of course, certain behavior we should not tolerate from other people. If they're angry towards us, if they hate us for no particular reason, if they're crossing our boundaries, especially if we try to talk to them about it, this may not be appropriate or even debatable. In some cases, it is better to avoid certain people, but that's a different topic. I hope this video was a good reminder what to do when you see or when you meet with someone that you don't particularly like. I hope this video was useful to you. And if it is, then please like it and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.